Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap of the new episode of Tales of Zestiria the X, or you call it Tales of Zestiria the Cross, which is on episode 6. Well, apparently it is called like episode 7 for some reason, but I don't think that is really the case, however, to me. So if anything else, let's go. Okay, at the beginning of the episode, we have to it that the, the high-ranking level of exorcist ends up arriving, and apparently I think his name is Oscar, and... He is pretty disappointed to see that Ceres ends up betraying Artoria, you know? And that was not a good thing. And therefore, we've Velvet Crow and Oscar, I think that's the guy's name, if I remember correctly. Hopefully that's the guy's name. If I don't, if I don't, if I got his name wrong, please forgive me. We have to with that, um, that after Velvet Crow and Oscar exchange a few words, and he says that everything's built on Ar Artoria, which is really messed up. And right now, Velvet Crow goes like, So, my brother's life has to be on the line and killed because of your empire that had to be created? He goes like, Yeah, that's how it is. That's the law and ordeal. And you must go back to jail and be eat those demons or something. I'm thinking in my mind, Okay, that is some kind of world I can't live in. You're willing to... I understand, like, maybe certain, like, um, empires or countries are needed to be built on, on some bloods need to be sacrificed, but to this point, it's just not right, okay? And we had two of the Velvet Crow and Ars Oscar, uh, Oscar Dragonia ends up clashing against each other. It seems like they were on equal, t on equal grounds in terms, you know, in terms of combat ability. But in terms of magic and everything all everything overall in general, Asuka has the advantage. But before the battle can continue, they get interrupted by a dragon. Not to mention about like um another witch uh, another character who shows up and her name is Maggie Lou, I believe. Yeah, I think that's her name. She ends up trying to make an introduction or something, although she did appear at the beginning of this episode, etc. Uh, but we have two of Velvet Crow did not even pay attention to her, which is really funny and hilarious. And we have to it that Velvet Crow tries to escape, but the dragon did not allow her to. And we have to it that Sirius uses her life and her magic to protect her and so forth, you know? And to make matters worse, we have to it that this dragon is a formidable opponent. It won't be taken down. So we have to it that Magalo and let me see here, Rokuro? I think that's the guy's name who announced himself to Magalo? And her name is very long, this Magalo girl, witch or something, but apparently I won't say the name since I've forgotten about it. And we have to, that Sirius offers a life to, like, um, Velvet Crow to, like, um, eat her and take her power. As you know, we have to, it that, um, there's some kind of, like, a mad, there's something that, um, that Sirius gave to, gave to, like, um, Velvet Crow that might be related to her brother because I think her, his name is Laffy or something. Possibly, I think that's his name or something, and it looks like Laffy's comb. And after that, Sirius tells her to eat her to, to, to keep going with her life. And he, she gets really upset about this and eats her and gets ready to fight once more. She ends up eating the dragon and defeating it. And we have to it that um, Oscar ends up sending an electrical spear or bolt or 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 some kind of bolt whatsoever to her body, but. She tells Oscar Dragonia to tell that her name, tell Artoria Pendragon, or whatever his name is, Artoria, that's an easy way to say his name. Tell him that my name's Velvet Crow and let him know that I'm on the way to kill him, you know, that kind of thing. And we have to it that, um, things are still looking, things are still looking like, um, pretty tense right now, you know, for the time being. And... We have to it that Rakugo and Magalo decide to join um, Velvet Crow on her journey, and she says, "Take me to the capital, Magris, or something, so we can go over there and fight, and so forth." And we have to it that it plays an opening, and it's called Tales of Berseria, I think. Tales of Berseria, if that is the name. It was a pretty cool opening. I think more comrades tend to join her. Jo Join her, which is pretty nice and slick, you know. I gotta say, I actually, I actually really enjoyed it. Too bad they won't show up in the next episode, apparently, because they say they're not gonna be on the show anymore, which is pretty sad. Because I actually like her, you know. She's pretty, but she's pretty much of a boss fighter, you know, the way I look at it. And but it is called a Tales of Hysteria, and it looks like we might go back to where we left off in 
I think in episode four apparently where um Sole, Mikelo and what's her name again? Lady of the Lake or Lala Lila gets ready for battle, you know? Against a big benevolence. And if anything else, I remember seeing an opening with Sore and Velvet Crow might clash against each other. So we might see her in the future and I look forward to that. I mean, I'm really, I, I, I am starting to like this, I'm actually starting to like, like, like this series a bit, you know? Even though the storyline might be a little like, um, something that we've seen millions of times, especially for Velvet Crow's story and plot for her, we right, we, I still had some enjoyment here and there. Tales of the Stereo of the Cross, not too bad, um, uh, it's, it's pretty made, pretty much made from Ufotable, although they are good with the animation, so I'm just watching it because of that, but... As long as the story keeps me intrigued in a certain way, I might enjoy it. I might enjoy this every Sunday, you know? So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode as much as I did, especially some of you Tales of Zestiria or Tales of the Series fans. I do play Tales of Link, by the way. So until then, I'll see you guys later. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Two to do.